that the forests of Fukushima hold a dark truth is something Professor Yuichi Onda has feared. An expert on radiation and its effects on the environment, he's been coming to these remote parts of the region ever since the nuclear plant nearby had a meltdown. Not only has he found high concentrations of radioactive cesium, upwards of 750,000 becquerels per kilogram in the fallen leaves and in the soil. But up in a tower, he and his assistants have also measured dangerous levels in the trees themselves, suggesting radiation has permanently found its way into the ecosystem. It's left him with only one drastic suggestion for the government. Cutting the tree uh, as soon as possible is better because the cesium is gradually uh, transferred to the uh, wood itself. With 70% of Fukushima covered in forest, the task would be immense, and Onda doubts the government will take his advice. The government is already spending billions of dollars decontaminating various towns in Fukushima. The concern Onda has is that unless the forests surrounding the places where people live are cleared, they'll continue to emit radioactivity, putting residents at risk. Even 40 kilometers away from the Fukushima plant, many places remain uninhabitable. And two years on, the stress for those who had to abandon their lives is having deadly consequences. Whenever authorities allow Mikio Watanabe to go home, he can only think of his wife. Once a bubbly, happy person, he says she descended into depression when they had to leave the place they loved. Eventually, she killed herself. I was so stressed myself, and I regret I didn't see how severely she was suffering. It fills me with remorse. The day she died, Watanabe found her lying by this tree. She had set herself on fire. Her death convinced him to join thousands of others in suing TEPCO, the nuclear plant's operator. Whenever I think about my wife, the anger comes back to me. Living as an evacuee has so much hardship and pain. They don't understand. I cannot forgive them. TEPCO turned down Al Jazeera's request for an interview about the impact the disaster has had on communities. But by phone, company officials said they are sorry. It's estimated the power company will pay some $250 billion in compensation in cleaning up what have become essentially ghost towns. Watanabe says no amount of money will ever replace what's been lost. He and his wife used to love spending time in the outdoors, but that too has been taken away, leaving him, he says, with a lonely and hollow existence. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Fukushima, Japan.